Hi, I'm Laura Waldman, author of Money Manifestation Mastery, and today we're going to speak about short-term pain for long-term gain. It's very normal to want to avoid pain, to avoid the hard stuff. We are hardwired to seek pleasure and comfort. So Money Manifestation Mastery is a powerful journey of learning how to work through pain consciously and mindfully in order to create the life, the future, the finances that you truly desire. But that means getting uncomfortable. So I've created a system, a process to support you with navigating through this short-term pain in order to create that long-term gain that you truly desire. There are a couple of things that can happen with pain avoidance. If there's something that feels hard in order to create the results that you want, there can be a feeling of it's too hard. It's too much. I don't want to do it. And you shut it down and stop the process. But the other thing is that some people are hardwired to hard work and actually make things harder than they need to be. Or you can be working hard towards something that's not actually in alignment with where you're going. So what I like to do in the system that I've created to support you with this is taking a line of action that is guided by your soul, your heart, your body's wisdom. I call it your wealthy wisdom within. And this is how I navigate through the pain or challenge of the present in order to consciously create or manifest the future that you truly desire. So what happens to me when I get the guidance of what to do moving forward, my body or my mind can often contract against it. And I need to work very consciously and mindfully with my wealthy wisdom within in order to know what to do and in order to know what not to do and to make sure I'm focusing on the right things, taking aligned action rather than getting pulled, distracted or confused by other kinds of actions. So this is how I work through this process. So what I'd like to do is connect to what I call future wealthy you. This is who you are when the money is here or who you are when the thing that you want has already landed. You see it, you feel it, you know it, you become it and you connect to that future reality. Then you bring that part of you into your present day. So future wealthy you and present day you are difference. Um, future wealth of you has grown and evolved and, and is much more empowered than present day you. They've made changes. They've made choices. And you want to bring future wealth of you into the present as your consultant, your coach, your CEO, your guide and mentor. And this part of you is going to help you navigate through the change and challenges of the present. So you want to ask this part of you, First, what is going on for me in my present? Where am I contracting against where I want to go? Where am I contracting or controlling or making things way harder than they need to be? So you want to become aware of present day you, how you're being now, what you're doing or not doing. Not from a place of judgment, just being the witness, staying curious. And there will be something that you need to let go of. And this can be the first challenge is the letting go in order to let in. Because in order to gain, there will be a loss. In order to move forward into the new, there will be something that you need to let go of. But it's not necessarily what your mind thinks. It's not necessarily what the stories in your head are telling you. And this is why it's so important to be led by this wealthy wisdom within your soul's guidance, your heart's consciousness, whatever you want to call it. It's got a higher perspective. And this is the part of you that's living in abundance, that has everything they need. They're out of lack and scarcity. They are empowered. And you want to bring this part of you into the present to support you with the now in order to move forward. 
So then you want to tune into what am I being guided to do? You know, first we want to know where we're going, what you want. And then we need to start bridging that gap between where you are now and what you want. And this is a painful process because, well, there's a number of reasons why that is painful. But one, it's scary because it's the unknown. You're about to step into something that you haven't done before, you haven't experienced before, that is new. And our brains do not like that. And it's very normal to want to contract against it or avoid moving forward into the unknown. There may be skills that you currently don't have that you need to develop in order to create that desired outcome. And again, that doesn't feel so good. It can be exciting, but it can also be daunting and overwhelming and can leave you wanting and, <laughs> and can leave you wanting to give up or feel it's not worth it. So there'll be a tussle. There'll be a bit of a battle between future wealth of you and present day you. But the key is, is to stay present through the discomfort of change. Essentially, you're moving into a new way of doing things, learning new skills, and you're also letting go of old ways of doing things and maybe doing things that have served you up until now. This transition can be very confusing. It can be very stressful and overwhelming. And holding yourself through these changes is everything. This is truly mastery level. And from here, witnessing how you contract or wanna control or run away or fight what your inner guidance is telling you. We need to calm down your nervous system, calm down your mind, calm down your emotions, and create space for this wealthy wisdom within to lead you, guide you, and show you the way. So this is what I call aligned action and really listening. What is the next step that I need to take, that next baby simple step that I need to take in order to start bridging the gap between where I am now and where I want to be? And that next step aligned action can be something that's scary or uncomfortable or boring, or it can feel hard. Right? It's not always going to be the most joyful or, or sexy experience. So this is why it's so important to get really clear on what you want and then be willing to do whatever it takes to get it. And this is the incredible journey of growth, evolution, transformation, where you are moving into a new way of doing things. But the beginning of that process can feel terrible, can feel really bad. And everything in your body may tell you that this is not the way to be doing things. It might be shouting, danger, danger alert, don't continue. And everything in you would be wanting to pull back. So this is why you want to keep tapping into that future wealth for you getting clear on what you want, tapping into that part of you and letting that part of you be your guide and your mentor. But you are stepping into the world of the unknown. So it can sometimes seem impossible or you may not know how. And holding that space of, of the discomfort of not knowing how, being out of your comfort zone is a very vulnerable experience that can leave you feeling unsafe. So holding yourself through that truly is everything and understanding that pain or discomfort as you are navigating from your present into your future is not a comfortable experience and so manifestation sounds great you know we want to work with the energy and the soul and the universe and all this beautiful stuff that you want to create but the truth is that on the ground in the present that change can feel really bad and so understanding that's really important normalizing that's really important it took me a long time to get that because my soul was telling me where to go and I was having these beautiful visions of my future but then it felt really hard it felt really difficult in the present and I couldn't really understand and I kept getting in my own way and holding myself back and I was very confused I didn't know how to bridge the gap between my vision my soul and my present day. And what I know now is that the journey you go on from where you are now to where you want to be is the most extraordinary and powerful journey of growth, change, evolution, healing, rewriting old stories, creating new ones. And this truly is where the magic is at. 
I can say that with confidence now. It won't feel like it in the moment always, but over time, one step at a time through taking those consistent baby steps, you will adjust, you will adapt, you will acclimatize, you will get used to it. But you need to stick with it and stay through that really murky, uncomfortable, tumble dryer feeling in the beginning. And eventually you adapt. But when you're following your soul, your inner guidance to create that, that wealth in every area of your life, this is going to be an ongoing process. This is a process that I am in constantly. I'm always in some kind of discomfort because I'm always pushing up against the edges and moving into that next level. It's fun. It's exciting. It's the greatest adventure of all. It definitely makes you feel alive, but it's not easy um, and it needs holding and it's really really important that you're doing that inner work to really hold yourself so that you understand what is running you that you understand where you're making decisions from and your soul's guidance that wealthy wisdom within will show you the clearest most direct path between where you are now and where you want to be it's not necessarily the most comfortable but it's absolutely beautiful and it's trying to lead you and guide you into a whole new world a whole new way of living of being of experiencing and it's trying to take you into something much more beautiful but remember that the challenges the the pain the discomfort of change the challenge is what, what human beings do with change and how you hold yourself through that change is everything. So I would love to know what is popping for you in today's conversation. How are you getting in your own way? How does the pain or challenge of the present manifest for you? And I'd love to hear. Please share in the comments below. And what is your wealthy wisdom within guiding you to do? What is that next best baby aligned action step? Please share. I would absolutely love to hear. If you have enjoyed today's content and got value out of it, I would love you to take a minute to like this video. Please share it with anyone who you think would benefit. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel to receive my weekly sessions. I show up every week on Wealthy Wednesday, sharing more content with you. And I would love to be with you again next week. And if you would like to dive even deeper into this world of money manifestation mastery, how to consciously create your finances, your business, your life on purpose, guided by your heart, body, and soul. I'd love to invite you to dive even deeper with me. We've got a very special event coming up, the Living Abundance Wealth Retreat. This is my free online event. Visit the link below my video or my website, laurawaldman.com, and book your free ticket. We've got other events coming up that you might want to check out as well. This work is so powerful, so profound, and I create space so you can be held to keep growing, thriving, and moving forward, consciously creating the life that you desire. I look forward to being with you then.